subscribe to Dota Showcase. It's also dispelled, which for Carry Marcy is very important. It's where she gets her damage from. I mean, how big of a deal do you think being universal is these days? Uh, this game, like, since that little mini beating. patch. Well, nothing to say. Might be in some trouble. Blood Grenade is applied. Trying to get to the high ground. Pops his Flame Guard, but it's only level one. So first blood goes the way of Matthew. Maybe not the exact hero you wanted on, but they'll take the first blood nonetheless. And bounties. What? PSG LGD oh. got three of them. Oh, I like this little block down here, by the way, because there was this rune fight from EG, it means that LGD can block the lane, which push, pushes their creep wave into the tower. And that is going to bounce the very first creep wave out for Neo. And the way that TA counters Ember is by playing the lane very close to her tower. So this is that Y gets in this lane, gives him 4.5 damage. Now on the flip side, Pugna, because he's, oh, mid lane? That was so close. Already used the fairy fire too, so that would have been death for nothing to say. Well, it's gonna be death for why you smile in the top lane. As Brew off to pretty damn good start here early on. But yeah, the mid lane I think is the big action. The big 1v1 that we gotta keep an eye on. Spirit Brothers. Always it's away. Yep. But now he has to be careful trying to get these last hits as Whisper. Has his thunderclap available. Arctic burn popped by Why You Smile. Trying to get out of dodge for the most part. Getting pressured a lot though. Thunderclap is there with the blood grenade. Why You Smile knows he's dead. And Shiro just trying to get some form of farm while his support respawns. Mid lane C Smile 21 and 7. Nothing to say 18 and 3. So pretty even. Maybe a little bit favored for C Smile. Very helpful. Nothing to say he's made his transition over, though. Level five. Think? Yeah, this is an early gank for sure. Wyvern's gonna start things out, but we can see the TP already coming in from EG, which forces the rest of LGD back. That's why you smile again, completely resigned to his death. Nothing to say, not level six still, like you said. Level six. Indeed. Storm Spirit comes in, gets the easy pickup. LGD. Very weird play as Shiro getting chased under the tower, gets the rebound off into nothing, and dies shortly after. What the hell was this? What is going on with this team? Those and extend their late their lead even more. Speaking of TA getting ganked in the bot lane, refraction charges get decimated thanks to the Wyvern Q. Planet not gonna go down, but C Smile will find him in the end. So it's a one for one definite favor going the way of PSG LGD. And you, last word will proc, but not enough mana for C Smile to commit further. Nah, he's got a Vanguard. He's not even gonna bother. Yep, the saving grace uh, for LGD is their offlane timber is doing very well. Uh, and this is a new classic. This guy always seems to have a good lane. And a good lane, Whisper gets off the primal split. The TP attempt coming out from Shiro. That was not a TP. <laughs> that was a cold embrace. And he's gonna die under the tower. Popped his ult, but died shortly after. Now, why is not completely surrounded as EG completely dominating now? Four heroes here. They're gonna get the tier one. First primal split of the game. Very successful as Whisper completely dominating this game number one. Your breaker, Ember. Like, sure, he had an arcane or on Ember, but he only got one searing chance. It's level one. Yeah. Off on him. There must have been like a, a bash that came in. Really gonna go for this? Was getting gone. See, smile. He's gonna try to reciprocate onto the new cold embrace. If you keep him alive a little bit longer, but under static remnant should be enough. Actually, be able to timber chain away, but finally, see, smile finishes him off. Double kill for Whisper in the meantime, and he's actually just gonna teleport away right in the face of nothing to say. So a two for one, EG's favor, and they force a ton of rotations, which end up resulting in not much. Although I think Matthew just was scanned out. And you can see Planet rethink. Uh, they're actually going to go back into their triangle. They're going to run right into C Smile, though. Brother on brother action. Oh, boy. The paw. Oh, uh, no. And the instant unpause? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Nothing that's to unfortunate. Say, obviously disconnected as he's just standing there. Oh, that's bad. And now half his HP is gone. Yikes. Although, 
He he has magic wand. He has healing lotus. I think he should be fine here. Looks he like should be perfectly go. fine. Silence to come out. Are you going to pull a cinder and get this wrong, Jenkins? Oh, oh, you might be right. You might be wrong, actually. He's dead. Yeah. And that pause definitely, I think we can say, without a doubt, killed him. See, smile. Ready to go. Uh, um, nothing to say. St stuck around with low HP and then just gets punished. I, I don't even know what I'm watching right now. Primal split pop from Whisper. Trying to chase that planet. He's going to drop. Mew now gets lifted into the air. He'll likely just focus on this Winter Wyvern. We'll get him easily. Double kill for Whisper. 18 to 3. At the 12 minute mark. Gracious. I, I don't know. Okay, well, I didn't get to watch the, uh, as we talked about. Yikes, and Whisper gets the other one. Just adding insult to in injury. PSGLG getting trashed. Planet dies as well. Okay, we're gonna have a conversation. I am... It's not just because of this game. Yeah, GG's are fun. I was gonna say, this game is... This game's oh over. Uh, I'm, I'm not a day, uh, Yeah, this is gonna be the fastest game of this tournament, probably, for the entirety. That is absurd. Absolutely no idea if they didn't, you know, snap pick it. So we'll see if that read is pun correct. Yep. And now they're smoking. A killing smoke. Yeah, so LGD does not think this is coming. Planet has died. First blood the way of C Smile. And C Smile gets it. Wow. That was cool. Like, they intentionally showed mid on the tower and on the ward. So that way, yeah, LGD cool. would be not defensive. They're like, ah, there's no smoke happening this game. That is very cool. Minute 30. That is a lot. Some universal goodness right there. Tell you yeah. What. Yeah. Why southern, but speaking of south in the bot lane, they're gonna use the blood grenade. Yep, Mew looks to be done as Pekaz will take him out, so already a 3 0 advantage for EG. With, I think you would agree with LGD being very confident with their drafts based on how fast they pick. Like, they snap picked everything. I would be yep. very surprised if they end up getting crushed, but so far, very EG favored, even though it's extremely early on. Yeah, both both games have been. I mean, we'll see how this goes. Anything first bloods matter, say? man. All right, no. first bloods matter. That's all. okay. I see. Stop comparing me to Cinder, and you're Off like talking about your ex, your ex-wife all the time. This is what it feels like. I'm the future girlfriend. You just <laughs> won't stop talking about your ex. No, you're the mistress. It's completely different. I don't think okay. anything of you. You're just an. Imagine if somebody <laughs> talks to their mistress about their wife. Nobody does that. It's weird. <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't know anything about that, of course, but that's probably true. Top lane, Matthew will decrepify himself. Netherblast goes off, hits a couple of heroes. Whisper getting really low, though. Shiro gets the kill on Whisper. Why You Smile dies shortly after. So LG finally getting a kill on the board, and it is an important one. Bounty. Yep. Anything First bloods matter, say? man. All right. No. First bloods matter. That's all. Okay. I see. Stop comparing me to Cinder, and you're off like talking about your ex, your ex-wife all the time. This is what it feels like. I'm the future girlfriend. You just won't <laughs> stop talking about your ex. No, you're the mistress. It's completely different. I don't think okay. anything of you. You're just an Imagine if somebody <laughs> talks to their mistress about their wife. Nobody does that. It's that's weird. True. That's true. I wouldn't know anything about that, of course, but that's probably true. Top lane. Matthew will decrepify himself. Netherblast goes off, hits a couple of heroes. Whisper getting really low, though. Shiro gets the kill on Whisper. Why You Smile dies shortly after. So LG finally getting a kill on the board, and it is an important one. Bounty. Yep. The fact that C Smile has two kills now, 25 and 11 versus 17 and 2. So obvious C Smile advantage. Uh, he will be getting the top water rune. Nothing to say we'll get the bot. 
so we'll connect back here at the six minute mark to see what supports are going to come help them out as because will die along with panda so lgd coming back with a vengeance double kill for the techies of all heroes you i'm sure did most of the damage with these continued axes yeah just just checking in there seeing what's going on you know as the root comes out kisses bottom new is dead nice rotation from c smile Okay, just like that. Uh, Shiro is actually the top net worth in this huh. game. Followed by Tidehunter. This is a weird net worth distribution, I will say. Considering that Whisper is zero and two. This is just the value of stacks in Dota right now. Planet is completely surrounded and will be cleaned up by Sea Smile. Okay, am I an idiot? Well, don't answer yes. that until I've actually asked the question. Ready? Slot issues because he needs a soul ring, he needs a bottle. Yeah, true. And that's not something you can upgrade as Mortimer's Kiss is being set up by the cookie, but the blast off ends up canceling the ult. Matthew dies off the back of that. Nice counter initiation on Planet. You're gonna find Panda as well. Scatterbots is gonna barely clip him, but Panda looking to initiate on nothing to say, but there's the phylactery coming into play. Neo gets the kill though. Top lane. Whisper had to use Ravage here. Shiro's pressuring him a lot. A melee hero versus Tidehunter. Brute has so much damage with Insatiable Hunger, he is actually able to pressure Tide off the lane through Kraken Shell and Anchor Smash. That is insane. But... Yep. Almost and... had uh, They're gonna Ravage Shiro here. Yep, and the Mortimer's Kiss is to follow. That's gonna be enough. Last off does cancel the Mortimer's, but it's a little bit too late. And Planet will likely pay the price here. That's gonna be two deaths for LGD in this engagement. Panda is gonna end up falling, though. It's Whisper and company trying to find more targets, but the rest will get away. I mean, it does give time in the meantime for Neo to farm his Aghanim Scepter, which he just completed. Might chill and take this Ancient Stack as well, because he's already here. But Shiro, he was uh, trying to continue to pressure Whisper, which... Yes. That is definitely the right move against Tidehunter. Uh, this hero, like, Ravage into Mortimer's Kisses, I think pretty much any hero is going to die. Panda finds himself in a precarious spot, but he's going to get saved by his teammates, and might be able to turn this around to Shiro instead. Elder Titan all goes off. And the Frost Blast is enough for Shiro to drop to the deck. And now the chase is on. Fakaz has his Manta style in tow. Whisper has Ravage in five seconds as the song. Ooh, they got nothing to say in the trees. Do they see Tinker? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Ah, they would have gone for him if yeah. they saw him. Planet will drop here as a Decrepify onto New. Gonna buy him a little bit of time, even though it's the enemy. New is healing a lot, man. Resolution from Naga. Doing quite a bit. The Ravage comes through finally. C Smile finishes the job. And Y Smile looks to be next, but a big laser hitting three heroes in the Echo. He's gonna clean up. Has nothing to say, just destroying everybody. Why you Smile gets credit for a lot of these kills, but. Most of the damage done by nothing to say in his ridiculous laser phylactery. Yeah. As mid lane, nothing to say. See, Smile, they're trying to get the control on him. Mortimer Skins is going to run right back into him, but not going to be saved by Why You Smile. Nice pickoff from EG, but the Echo Stomp on the two heroes. The roar to follow. See, Smile is dead along with his compatriot in Matthew. Now Panda gonna get chased into the ends of the RP. Doesn't take out one member before doing so, though. I'm the cause there, that's the real Naga. Yep, he shows up. You gotta be careful. I mean, ET Beastmaster are the two biggest counters in the game for you. I'm really looking forward to this Ags from Why You Smile. Still a ways away. New has the Assault Kuros now. To go along with his drums of Slom. And still has a 9 second BKB, has not used the exit, hasn't really had a fight yet, nothing to say. Oh, forcing out the Ravish from Whisper actually hit several heroes, and they're gonna lose their Brute right off the bat. Terrible start to this fight for PSG LGD, and you getting quite low, has to roar just to run away. And that is not what you want oh, to see. Oh, there's the Naga being tossed in! And yes, he does gobble up, and Picaz with the song. And they try to set this kill up onto the Beastmaster. He's gonna die right off the bat. 
echo stomp not really going to hit much and the yule sets up more time so that eg can corral their troops and take out another member of lgd so a three for nothing big fight for eg to come back in this game for the game so roshoff is now commencing nothing to say trying to get in deep and trying to initiate onto pecan the only half hp nullified and brought down the war is huge from THG lgd they're gonna get the tide hunter as well as the ravage was used now panda nullified and brought down as well three quick kills for lgd and they're not done yet drums being popped by why you smile he is so fast echo stop going but c smile able to get off his bkb Trying to walk away from Shiro. Yule's now apply to the Tinker. They're not afraid to go in deep here. No. The Palazzo is slowing up. down to us. Crawl along with the Nullifier. That's four dead. Make it a full team wipe for LGD. And they're on the doorstep of EG's base. What a quick turnaround. This game was looking very even all of a sudden. Three of these heroes for EG do not have buyback. And now they're going to be forced to use it for the two that do. But they're only the supports. Eight seconds on the Lich, and having this Frost Shield slow this down dramatically. They're going to try to go for Throne. Already a tier four dead. They get the die back on the Pugna. Now just forcing this out onto the Ancient. LGD one in God's green earth that are we watching right now. They're actually just going to win this game all of a sudden, although the fortifications have slowed us down a bit. Naga up in eight seconds. Tide Hunter's up, but no Ravager, of course, to try to focus down this building. Pipe is pop. That's not really going to help the buildings because it only takes physical damage. And this looks to be the end, although Naga Siren has the song. Can they actually try to turn this around? Will they just go for the building? Shiro pops the BKB, and it ends just like that. LGD, wow. What a crazy end.